Wait, how do you say baby girl in Spanish? Hey Siri, how do you say baby girl in Spanish? Bebe niña. If I gotta choose me, I won't be afraid to. If I gotta choose me, I gotta do what I gotta do. When I love you, I lose me. Now I can't be attached to you no more. I like me better when I was yours. What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tay. Nice to meet you and if you have not yet subscribed, baby girl, bebe niña, what are you really doing? In today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my thumbnails. I just posted a video on my channel and the video title was what YouTubers don't really tell you and people liked how I did that thumbnail so I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve this thumbnail right here I'm gonna put it on the screen so you guys can see so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that thumbnail alrighty we're gonna go where are we gonna go to Dora's house so first, the apps that you're gonna need for this is Fonto, 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 and your camera. I only use Fonto, and I also use, I forgot to use it on this thumbnail, but I also do use Photo Editor on my actual iPhone that it comes with, like when you take a picture and then you edit it sometimes. Okay, so I did pull it up on my iPad, so it'll be much easier for me to know what I'm doing. When I record my videos, in a section of my video, I do start to take thumbnail pictures, but I do it in video form and not actual photo form, if you understand what I'm saying. So I just screenshot the photo from the actual part of the video where I decide to make my thumbnail pictures. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the app Fonto. You can get Fonto in your Apple Store, so you just go ahead and download that app. And then the first thing you wanna do is go to photo albums. Also, you want to make sure that your thumbnail picture is the size, and I'm gonna tell you the size when I find it. So the thumbnail size should be 1280 by 720. So I'm also gonna show you before I do the thumbnail, your thumbnail photo should be 1280 by 720. So I'm just gonna go to plain images. We're gonna click on the top that says 2048 by 2048. Then we're gonna click custom. So then we're gonna change that to 1280 by 720 because that is the size of the thumbnail. And then on the right side, on the upper right hand corner, you're gonna press the little arrow that's going up. Then you're gonna press use and save. And then if you just want a plain background, you can use that. So I'm gonna actually do my thumbnail now. So we're gonna press, press reset and then we're gonna restore. Oh, well, it's already there. So we're gonna reset it again. Then we're gonna go to photo albums like I was showing you guys before. So then as you can see, I did screenshot it. It showed my little the little thing in the iPhone, but it's totally fine. Um, you can crop that out if you want. I ended up cropping it out, but then again, it ruined everything. So I just left it because like, who cares? So the first thing that I did, I did do the text, the untold truth. I did all of that in cap. So you wanna capitalize everything, the untold, spelled untold wrong, truth. Then you're gonna press done. So the font that I use for that is rock roll bold i do have a list of fonts that i use that i like strictly use for my thumbnails i do want to make my thumbnails uniform unlike before when it wasn't then I wanna just put that in the middle. So in order for me to put it dead smack in the middle, I do swipe over, oh, I do press move, and then I press the thing that says A, and it's going like that, and it puts it right in the middle. And then I do change the size of it, cause I want it to be, you know, big. Okay, it's not gonna be exactly like the thumbnail that I made before, but this is just like a little tutorial explaining on how I actually achieve my thumbnails. The text of this is gonna stay white, and then we're gonna go over to stroke, and then we're gonna do red because YouTube is red and I did end up choosing the second red and then I just played with it played with it so it can like be red like the YouTube logo red after that I changed like the width of it to you know maybe 14 you know change it to your liking whatever you like then I went over to style so it's color all the way at the top it says color then it said style and then all the way at the bottom I press the one two three four the fifth A I usually just play with the X and the Y of it so you can either use the fourth a or the fifth a so these are like different ones you know i ended up choosing the fifth a so that's what i'm gonna use and i'm gonna press done like i said before i'm just gonna put that in the middle 
I'm gonna move it up some. And since I want it to be more of a 3D effect, I'm gonna use the fourth A, because I didn't like how that was. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, go back and do that over. And then I'm just moving it around to see where I like it. So that's good enough. Then we're gonna go ahead and add the little YouTube logo at the side that you guys seen before. So you wanna go to, I already have it downloaded, but you wanna go to, I was looking at Killing Nicole, I don't know why. But you wanna go to Google, you don't have to search in Google, but you know, might as well. Google, type in YouTube logo PNG. The reason why you wanna put PNG is because you want it to be transparent. So you only want the YouTube logo to show, not like the white stuff behind it. So you're gonna go to images, and then what I usually do is just press on things until it's like, I press on it and save it until I find one that is PNG. But I learned that if it has a white background, like the first one right here, and then when you you click on it it comes up with like the little squares at the back that mean it's PNG so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna click on it then we're gonna hold it down and then we're gonna add to the photos and it should come up as a PNG so we're gonna add image and there you have it it is a PNG so we're gonna hold it we're gonna drag it down here the first thing I did was size it to my liking so I wanted it a little big so to fill up like half of the screen because I didn't want the other half to be bland the next thing I did I tilted it to my liking I wanted it to be a little tilted so it can fill up that side of the screen So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna move it over some Okay, then that's pretty much that for that part and then the next thing we're gonna do is Write things youtubers will never tell you so all of that is in caps. So things I did it all separate things we're gonna size it when we're done, but we're just writing it out for now. YouTubers, can't spell. YouTubers will never. So in order for me to have the going down effect like how I'm doing it, you have to type everything separately. Tell you. Alrighty. Then we're gonna go back up again and change the size of the text. So things, of course it's bigger on my iPad. We're gonna move that to the center. Oh no, no, honey, honey, no. We're gonna move that to the center. We're gonna do like a small to big effect, kinda. And then size the wheel never. I did like a, like right where my thumb is, I size it up with my thumb. And you can also use the plus and the minus arrow to. Make it precise. So we're just gonna size until I get like the desired size that I want. Like I said before, it's not gonna be exactly like the other thumbnail that I made, but close enough. We're gonna go back in again and start to style the words. The first word is thing. So for that, I only did a black outline. You can make it as thick as you want, as skinny as you want. Ooh, that's cute though. Ooh, I never tried the negative side. So we're gonna just do 10. I want it to pop. We did 14 for width. The width changes the thickness of the stroke. So then we're gonna press done. Since the will tell you stroke is just black, we are gonna, wow, so I messed up. So will never. Guys, if you are doing different color in the thumbnail title, remember to type everything differently or else it's not gonna come out as you want it, okay? So will is also black stroked. Tell you is all black stroked too, so we're gonna just do the black stroke, change that to 14, and there you go. So the next thing that we're gonna do is do the YouTubers. So the YouTubers is, we're gonna style that. So the text is red. I use the third red. And then I went over to stroke, and then I did it black so it can like pop a little bit. And I also did the width 14, so it can like pop. And then we're gonna go down to never. I heard in the YouTube community that the color that mostly draws people is like yellow, blue, green, you know, the primary color. So I decided to change the never to jello, honey. Then we're gonna change the stroke to black, of course. I wanted everything to be the same. So you can tell that it's still not lined up correctly. So you wanna move that until it's lined up correctly i'm going to show you guys how i built the saturation and all of that after we save it so you're going to go oh. What's the vanilla secret to perfect pasta? The disrespect a blend of so when you save it in the bottom right hand corner it's just the arrow again you're just going to press save image or you can press save png it really doesn't matter then we're going to go over to photos 
and there is your picture saved in your photos then we're gonna press edit all the way at the top you guys know how to use the iphone i'm assuming i just play around with it until i get my desired thumbnail i'm actually gonna change it you want your thumbnails to always pop so that's that's it like look look how look look how popalicious it is honey so then when you are uploading to YouTube, you want to have the app YouTube Studio because it lets you edit your video and post your thumbnail. So you want to press on the little pencil in the right hand corner, then press on the pencil again, then you want to change the image. I'm going to show you guys the difference between the unedited thumbnail and the edited thumbnail. So this is the unedited thumbnail. It's kind of bland. Then this is the edited thumbnail with all the like the drama rific the drama rific effects. So that is a difference. Now that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching this entire video. If you did make it to this point in the video, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. If you like this video, please give this video a big old thumbs up. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on your post notification, baby girl, so you will be notified anytime I do post another video. And if you don't know my uploading schedule, I upload every Tuesday and Friday at 2 p.m. Yes, if you didn't know, now you know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!